Google just came out and leaked their own product, the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL. This week we've had a load of leaks leading up to this and Google have taken the very unusual step of just releasing the product renders on Twitter for us all to see. But why have they done this? All right, so on first reaction, this is a big design change for Google. Google have been famous for only using that single camera unit on the back there. This is a big change. We've got multiple camera units on the back there. And of course, people are saying, wow, this thing looks like the iPhone. As this does look so similar to the iPhone, maybe Google trying to step in here a little bit early and get people familiar with this design on the Google Pixel phones so that people won't say Google Pixel is just a copy of the iPhone. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That can't be the reason why Google have just released product renders. It's so unusual for a company to just release product renders of their phones, especially so early before they're even being launched. Maybe Google have had their hand forced Maybe someone leaked these documents anyway and they were gonna go out into the open and hey, you might as well do it yourself. Yep, that makes sense, but bear in mind, apparently there were three design teams on this, three different designs. So Google have apparently just picked one and told us all about it. But why exactly have Google taken the unusual decision to themselves leak the designs for their own product. It looks like a really decent phone, nothing out of the ordinary. It's obviously gonna have the Snapdragon 855, which is obviously the latest chip, but by now, and especially by the time it releases, it's gonna be six, seven months old, and OEMs are gonna start preparing for the next generation of Snapdragon chips. In any case, it's not just about specs. We know that Google's cameras are absolutely incredible some of the best around the renders released by google themselves have confirmed this they're going to add some camera units on the back there while it's charging that's good as well and the front imaging units apparently five imaging units at the front but they're going to keep a bigger bezel up there but we know pixel devices are all about that software so google getting serious about this now well the google pixel although being a great phone just doesn't sell that many units compared to iphone samsung vivo oppo Xiaomi, and importantly, Huawei. So let's get to that. With what's going on with Huawei, Google have to assume that going forward, they're not gonna have Huawei as a partner anymore using Android. Even if the ban gets lifted, or we just don't know what will happen in the future, Huawei are pretty certainly working on their own operating system now. Leak after leak after leak on that one, Hongmeng OS or it was going to be called Arc OS, now Oak OS. Whatever the name is, is not really important. It's pretty certain that going forward, Huawei just want their own operating system. They will have to do that if the ban stays in place. But even if it doesn't, Huawei just don't want to rely on other companies, especially American companies, to make their own smartphones. And this is a huge problem for Google. What was going to be the world's biggest smartphone manufacturer going forward doesn't look like it's going to use Android anymore. So that's a few hundred million handsets without Google Android. Maybe Google see a slight opportunity here. So they've put it out there early. They put it out there now that the Google Pixel is gonna have multiple cameras. It's gonna have an improved design because let's face it, the reason Huawei was selling so many handsets is because the hardware was just so good and cheaper than the competition. We know that Huawei's next big device is the Mate 30 series coming in the autumn at the end of summer, about the time that Google are gonna try and release the Pixel 4 series. You'll have Huawei customers that were looking at that phone that now maybe need to look at a different phone. The Note 10 series is gonna come out before the Pixel series in about late August. So maybe now's a good time to say, hey, We've got a new design coming. Maybe you wanna hold off for our phone. So maybe this is just the start of a bigger push by Google to make some really compelling hardware. But if Google wanna make a splash in the hardware game, it's not about these high priced, high end smartphones. It's about the mid tier and the budget phones. That's where the growth is. That's where most new handsets come. They're always gonna get beaten out by products like this. The Redmi K20 Pro, cheap, and really, really good. So how do Google try and replace 
all those handsets that look like they're gonna lose Android in the near future. But anyway, I like to see Google doing this. I wanna see Google come into the hardware game a bit more, give us some unique features, push the industry forward. That's only good for you and me when we're looking at the next smartphone we wanna buy. Thank you.